It's just a one pose practice today. I've got a really super supported and sweet version of Shavasana to talk you through. And then during the practice, I'll guide you through a progressive relaxation. You know, one of the things that's difficult for us is that in our life off the yoga mat, there's a lot of demand on our attention, the energy of our body, the demand for us to solve problems. We're constantly juggling and keeping so many things in the air. When it comes time to rest our body, that also seems to have a kind of time constraint. One of the ways that we can rest deeply within whatever time we have available is to take our mind through a, pro a progression of relaxing piece by piece in our body. It's a way of gathering up our attention, focusing, and then choosing to let go. I'll talk you through it as we get there, but the first step is to get as comfortable as possible. I recommend starting with a bolster or maybe some bed pillows. These will support your knees. It will also all, almost always feel better if you target the support of your knees, rolling up a blanket so that the pit of your knees is held and feels cozy. Take one of your blankets and roll it up. I like the long edge, it's a little more, uh, it fits more neatly under my legs, but maybe some of you would like a fatter roll under there and you're welcome to do a bigger blanket if you prefer it. Because your knees are going to be quite high, your feet might end up feeling like they're dangling. So a second blanket underneath your feet, or you could even use your yoga blocks here. That will make a nice cushion for your heels. The head blanket is last, but certainly not least. In fact, the head blanket is the most important blanket of all of these props. Our head is our command center. So if we can communicate with our head restfulness and ease, the rest of our body is more likely to follow. Take your blanket in this kind of small rectangle shape and then fold it into an even smaller rectangle. Once you've folded it into the small rectangle, you'll see there's one end that's kind of open and one end that has a neatly rolled edge. The neatly rolled edge goes in line with the short end of your yoga mat so that the stair-stepped angle of this blanket will be able to tuck underneath your neck and shoulders. It will create a lot of coziness for your upper body. Come to lie down over this setup with your knees resting on the roll, your heels supported by the blanket. And then once you get down onto your back, adjust the position of the blanket under your head so that it tucks all the way to the edge of your shoulders, pulls all the way down to support your neck. Now, if this is the first moment that you've been lying down today, it might take a second to get organized. You might need to rock your legs back and forth, or maybe you need a little squeeze in, some massages across your low back or your low spine, maybe even a happy baby pose. Give yourself as much time to settle in here as you need. And then as you're ready, relax your legs into your props. Let your arms fall wherever they're comfortable, maybe down by your sides, palms up, or little fingers on the floor, or even palms down. Hands on your belly is also a great place if that's comfortable for your shoulders. Now, even with your eyes closed, turn your gaze downward as if you're looking down at your cheek. Visualize your feet. Feel the contact between your heels and the blanket or the ground. When you exhale, relax your feet. Now feel where your knees are supported by the props. The rolled up blanket against the back of your knees. When you exhale, relax your knees and your lower legs. Now notice the contact between your buttocks and the floor. Visualize the bowl of your pelvis, your hips, 
in your legs where they meet into your torso. When you exhale, release your hips and your upper legs. Now feel all the contact points between your back and the floor. When you exhale, release your entire back, soften your belly, relax your ribs. Become aware of all the contact points between your right arm and the ground. From your right shoulder down to your right hand, exhale and relax. Now your left arm. Become aware of all of the contact points between your left arm and the floor. When you exhale, relax your entire left arm. Now feel the back of your head against your blanket. As you exhale, release the weight of your head into your blanket. Soften and relax your face. Stay with the soft heaviness of your body, knowing that you can return back to this process of releasing with every exhalation.
bring your attention back from wherever your mind might have been drifting. Start to introduce some movements, try little wiggles to your fingers and your toes. Reawaken back from this restful place through movement at your ankles and wrists. Change the position of your arms. And take your time as you pull your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little hug. And then roll over onto your side. Tuck your chin in and pull your knees in as if curled in around your heart. Make a move as if to roll to your belly, roll into the support of your hands and push yourself back up into your seated position. Join your palms together in front of your heart or simply place one hand over the other at your heart space. May these moments of resting nourish and resource us or whatever comes. May our practice be to the benefit of all beings everywhere. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti Om. Peace.